Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Polarities mod. Check it out. Interpretive Fireball Dance. Aerial Acrobatics. Look at that. What a beautiful weapon. By itself. And then the spam. Oh, it's beautiful. Anyways, everybody, how's it going? How are you doing this fine, beautiful fall day? If it's fall wherever you're at, it's fall here right now. It wasn't before, but it just recently decided that it wanted to go from being somewhat warm outside to being ridiculously cold and kind of rainy and windy, like on a dime, like it switched, turned on like a light switch, boom, change in season, which is a lot of fun. Uh, my allergies that like to activate at the time of the seasonal change is definitely loving that. I really enjoy that. So thanks, nature. Appreciate it. Anyways, how's everybody doing this fine day? Because you know what? It's time to get into some business, okay? We have a little bit left to go in the Polarities mod. We're finally bringing it to a close. We are on the home stretch. One of the only mod bosses we've got left, actually the only mod boss we've got left, actually, is the Polarities, which I heard is quite a fight. It's definitely quite a spectacle, and it's quite a challenge as well. The rest of it should be pretty much a face roll, because it's just the Lunatic Cultist, the Events, and the Moon Lord. So, I'm kind of thinking that a lot like the Split mod, once I deal with the polarities, it's just going to be business as, as, uh, as usual, I guess. Just go through the rest of the stuff and move on. Now, it says in Boss Checklist that I'm supposed to fight the polarities after the Lunatic Cultist and the Lunar Event. Um, does that mean I'm supposed to fight it around the same time as the Moon Lord? I'm assuming that means that I'm supposed to go into it with, like, the tower gear or whatever. Like, I'm supposed to have, like, the Nebula Arcanum and the Nebula Blaze and whatnot to fight him. Which is fine with me, because in terms of, like, versatility and utility here and all that business, I don't really have that much that's, like, good. Like, I've got a lot of spells. I got some that go like this, go like that, a little bit like this, some of these, a little bit of that. But, um, realistically, only a few of them are actually of any value to me. But that's fine. We'll get we'll get that sorted out soon here eventually. Um, I kind of did want to try the uh, no hit for the lunatic cultist, believe it or not, because I imagine that it's going to be rough. But I was told that he does have a pretty decent item if I know how to use it. So we'll we'll see. We'll have to see what that's like. Um, I don't imagine that it's going to be a cakewalk. I bet it'll probably be easier to do than Plantera. But at the same time, I imagine that uh, it might be a little bit on the challenging side. Right now, I'm just trying to deal with this. I may go back and try to no hit this guy after I've already beaten him once. I don't even really know what weapon to use against him. Whatever. We'll buff up. Go over the uh, good old fashioned razor blade typhoon. I'm just being quiet right now. I don't have a whole lot of commentary for this right now. Oh, okay. I hit the right one. It's fine. We're all good. We're all good. Oh, that was close. What if I actually did manage to no-hit it on the very first try here? That'd be kind of silly. I'm probably not going to succeed just because I brought it up. And there we go. See, that's the problem. Can't do it. I've already failed once, so I've already resigned any possibility of being able to successfully no-hit it. I've given up. I will probably try again with the Nebula Blaze. That fireball attack is just a little bit tricky to use. It's probably the only one that's actually going to make any real contact with me. Oh, and then there's that one. I like how the Stardust one, which, you know, in terms of just tower power, is uh, one of the easiest ones to deal with. And it's the ability that shows up in the second phase. Like, oh, watch out. Got some new fire power now. Turns out it's not really that threatening. Not very many bosses have destructible projectiles, Lunatic Cultist. I gotta tell you, I hate to say it, but uh, you're kind of slacking there a little bit. You're kind of a little on the weak side. Don't even know why you're considered a boss anyway. You're kind of a mini boss more than anything. I mean, at least in regular Terraria anyway. Uh, the Fargo's one made me eat those words. And I don't I don't remember. I think Calamity's got like a little twist on him for like revengeance mode. I don't remember. But uh, whatever. We'll figure that out one day. There we go. And would you look at that? This one is right here. That's fantastic. I love it. Okay, grab all that good stuff. Nothing else fancy. I did get the trophy, which is kind of nice, I guess. Uh, maybe I can take this down real fast and then just go deal with the polarities real quick because this is the arena I would like to use to fight them. And if it ends up being a little bit too difficult, I'll just end up going and doing the Moon Lord and then we'll just do the last episode of this Let's Play as the fight with the polarities. Because I really don't think that I'm going to be able to effectively do the Lunatic Cultist, the Towers, the Moon Lord, and the polarities in one video. I mean... I could try. I mean, I guess I could, but it would end up being a pretty ridiculously long video. But uh, you know what? We'll, we'll figure it out either way. We'll just have to see how it goes. Right now, I got brain squids to kill. And I'm actually kind of thrilled that I've got a little area here to respawn. So if I do die, I'll just come right back here and it won't be a problem. 
No running is necessary. I suppose this is the part where I would uh, have a discussion with you guys to uh, pass the time and maybe throw in a montage or something like that. It's been a while since the good old... But you know what? I don't really have any plans for a montage. It's been a while since we've done that. You know what? There's been a lot of pixelated fireball canon, right? A lot of lore that has just not been present in the previous videos. We haven't had very much in the way of Spelunker rating. I don't really remember making up any new words or anything like that, which is generally a staple. Hasn't really been a, a whole lot of montages. I kind of wanted to do that for the moons, like the frost moon and the pumpkin moon, but I never really got the opportunity to do that because I just, I don't know. There we go. Got laser beamed by a nebula floater. That's fine. But yeah, aside from like Phil Swift memes, there hasn't really been a whole lot in, uh, in terms of pixelated fireball cannon. We haven't seen Helen in a while, even though she is always in the outro, like I said. We'll get around to it eventually. Not too worried about it right now. We'll get back on track with that eventually. Oh, and other news, um, I'm sure, unless you've been living under a rock, you've seen the new Minecraft updates that are coming out. Yeah. Some of you might now be like, oh, so pixelated fireball plays Minecraft. I absolutely do not. I gotta be honest with you. Not even because, oh, like, oh, it's a dumb kid's game, like, whatever. No, that doesn't, that's, that, I mean, it's like, it's more along the lines of, I don't really know how to have fun when I play it. I gotta be honest with you, unless though I'm playing a modded Minecraft playthrough or whatever, it's probably the most boring game I've ever played in my life. I gotta be honest with you. Just gotta throw that out there. I really don't know what to do with myself. Coming from a game like this that I've put so many thousands of hours into, to a game that has like 30 blocks and 20 of them are wood, and four mobs, and half of them all do the same thing anyway. It's kinda like, you know, whatever. Oh, they are adding in new mobs though. You know, you have the golem that randomly pushes buttons and the thing that tells you when it's dark. I mean, thank God. I waited 12 years for that, or 11, or however old Minecraft is. Sorry. Throwing a lot of shade on Minecraft right now. I'm dying so many times because of it. Let's wrap this up and we'll move on here. All right, there we go. Portal's down. Let's uh, get killed real fast. Hold on, gotta get the, take care of that. One more death real quick. Last one, I promise. I will not die again for the rest of the Let's Play. Ah, God, I can't even see. There's so many things everywhere. No, 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 not again. I don't think so. How about this? Now you can avoid my attacks, haha. -ha. This is actually pretty nice though. If I can sit on top of the mob like a melee class, then hey, you know what? I can still get killed anyway. Hey, but, oh, almost, Never mind. Alrighty, there we go. We've taken it down. Come on, don't kill me again. Let me live, let me grab my fragments. I gotta get this blood moon to go away. It's The blood moon has to go away and it has to stop raining. I think I have done a little bit too much damage to the natural order of things with all my time changing and rain starting and stopping and summoning blood moons and solar eclipses. I think I think the sun and the moon up there in the sky are starting to get a little exhausted with me, I gotta say. Is there another pillar over here? No, this is the very end. That's another good thing about this. I don't have to worry about pillars spawning on top of my base over here because it's all the way over to the end and they just don't spawn over here. Pretty nice. Alrighty, let's go inside. We can grab our nebula weapons, and then we can try to take a look at the polarities. I mean, I don't really remember anybody saying that I couldn't do them uh, before the Moon Lord. I mean, like I said, if it ends up being too much of uh, a hassle or too much trouble or too much pain and suffering, then I will just move on. I'll just, you know what, we'll just do the lunatic cultist a million times, try to get that new item that he drops apparently, and I don't know. We'll figure things out as we go. Alrighty, where are we at here? There is Nebula Ray. Are there new weapons for these? Hold on a second now. Uh, cast the light of distant stars upon your enemies. What is that? It doesn't even say that it makes it in here. Oh, yes, it does. Right there it is. Well, that's different. Sure, I can only make one apparently, but that's fine. I can just convert the other ones. Oh, that's pretty nice. I like that. That actually looks pretty cool. Definitely gonna need to reforge that because that mana cost, oh, 18 each. And we're net, oh, okay, that's great lazy. That's fine. That's that's about what I thought. Okay, do I have any way to fix that? Do I have any, like, ore to sell or bars or whatever? All I'm asking for is a reforge that's not negative. Come on now. You can do that for me. Okay. Quick. I mean, well, you did give me exactly what I asked for, I suppose. Uh, let's get rid of all of this that's going on right now. So, no more rain, and let's uh, move up a little bit here. It doesn't say specifically when I have to call forth the polarities, does it? No, it doesn't say anything in particular. Just says it summons them. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll speed things up, get this blood moon out of here, and we'll go and try to deal with the polarities. I'm sure this is going to be a lot of fun.
I don't know anything about them other than, like I said, they're going to be quite a spectacle. I do remember seeing Cataclysmic Armageddon do a no-hit on them, so I know that they kind of move around and they kind of like, I don't know, mirror and reflect each other's attacks? I don't know. They've got interesting movement, I do know that for sure. I imagine if it's at the end of the mod and it's on par with the Moon Lord, it's going to be a little bit of pain. Hey, there we go. Okay, we're up here on my big arena. I feel like there should be sufficient space to deal with them. I don't really know what equipment I could possibly have right now that would, like, be better than what I've got on at the moment. We'll just try it with the Spectre Mask on, leave my accessories as they are. They're already pretty well reforged. I got some nice mobility here. Not much in the way of defense, but you know what? Whatever, it's fine. We're just going to go for it here. Uh, all right, let's call forth the, the polarities and see what's going on here. Oh, okay. Here we are. Um, oh, yes, they are directly around me. Ah. Ah, what? Oh, I don't know what's happening right now. That's different. Is there a way for me to avoid that? I'm definitely in trouble here. Okay, I can't even really see what's happening right now, to be honest with you. I don't know how to avoid the lightning. Okay, I really don't know what's going on here. Um, ah, what's happening? There's a vortex down there. They're shooting things at me. There's another of that. What is that attack? I do not know how to deal with the lightning. I'm also having trouble hitting these guys because uh, these things are doing a good bit of damage, but they're also not really tracking so well here. Ah, God, it looks like I have to try to move with them. Ugh, oh boy. Okay, I, I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm totally, totally clueless. Um, ah. Okay, I know, obviously, dodge the things that are flying towards my face, but like, for some reason, I'm having a lot of trouble with that. Be nice if I could just hit him. And there we go. We're dead. Okay. Electron Cloud. Um, gotta tell you, I really have absolutely no idea what's going on there. Yep. Totally lost. Um, okay. We can play around with that a little bit. That shouldn't be a problem. Oh, King Slime. Okay. A uh, little late to the party, bud, I gotta tell you, but that's fine. Here, have one of those. Have a little bit of this. There you go. There you go. Okay. Good talking to you, bud. Appreciate it. All right, let's try that again. Okay, oops, I gotta be off the unicorn. Yep, we gotta be off the unicorn, otherwise it's not gonna work. Okay, get over towards them, and then dodge them again. They're doing circles around me. They are doing circles around me. I really just do not know what's going on right now. Okay, how about we use a weapon that I can actually hit them with? That'd be something, that'd be exciting, huh? So I gotta stay close to these guys? Well, he's gotta actually, like, be on me so I can get around to him. Come on now. Ah, God, okay. I am getting hit for an immense amount of damage. It's like I'm fighting through orbiting Phil Swifts here. Oh, and there we go again. And I'm getting to about the same spot every time. Okay, well, it, it appears as though the polarities are going to be the final challenge for me because I'm really not making all that much progress right now. Also, this Nebula Ray is nice. It does hit for a good bit of damage. However, I do run out of mana extraordinarily quickly and I'm pretty much in a constant state of being out of mana, which is giving me constant mana sickness, which is reducing my overall damage, and I'm getting hit for a pile of damage over 100 every single time they so much as look at me. So I think what I'm going to do is wrap up the rest of the towers and deal with the Moon Lord, which hopefully won't be too terribly brutal. And then once I get that gear, we'll go back and we'll try the polarities at the very end. So this episode is going to end up being just a your standard run-of-the-mill Moon Lord episode. So let's go on a little bit of an adventure here, go murder some more tower monsters, and we'll move on here. Next one over here is Vortex, Solar's all the way over there. Witch Doctor's probably feeling a little hot right now. Gotta say, unfortunately, but well, that's fine. Jungle's already pretty warm, so you know what? What's the harm in a little bit of extra heat? Man, I gotta say, I like the look of the vortex pillar in the snow biome. I gotta say, it looks pretty nice. Very, uh, it matches the colors well. That sort of like greenish blue mixing with it. It looks pretty good. I do like it. I do like it very much. Also, I did notice that all of the fragments do actually have their own like extra weapon that they threw in there, which I think is pretty cool. I like that. Guess I'll have to make every one of them. I'd have to go and try, uh, make every class and see which one works the best against the polarities because honestly i'm looking to beat them and i, I really <laughs> i do not know what's going on with those i don't know what to do but i'm assuming maybe my main issue is that i'm really really under geared for it meant to be fought after the towers anyway so i mean it's not like i get anything else from them other than the mage stuff but that's fine we'll wrap them up then we'll take them down 
Gotta say, no matter what, it seems to be, unless I have like a really broken overpowered weapon that lets me just slam my way through the pillars, I just never seem to enjoy them. I gotta say, they're never really all that fun. Does anybody out there actually enjoy the pillars? I remember when they first came out and I was like, oh my God, it looks amazing. It was pretty cool. I thought it was one of the most interesting pieces of content in Terraria at the time, and then here we are. It's kind of how I felt about whenever I saw Master Mode. I was like, oh, that looks awesome, and then I played it. And that was rough. It's fine, though. Today seems to be a shade-throwing day, man. I'm throwing shade at everybody. Throwing shade at Minecraft about their mobs, throwing shade at Terraria about their difficulty levels and their events. Oh, boy. So much shade today. And there we go, another one down. Vortex Pillar. Goodbye, good night, sweet prince. Okay, let's wrap it up over here. Head back across to the middle. I can do the Stardust one now, why not? What's the harm? I mean, I normally save the Stardust for the end, but you know what? Why not? Just take it down. Get it over with right now. I mean, at the end of the day, is there really that much of a difference? Like, do the easy one before the Moon Lord shows up. You know what? I, I'd rather keep with the uh, Adrenaline Rush that is the Solar Pillar. So I can just go right into the Moon Lord like, oh my god, I'm ready to go. And immediately dead. Was I really that low on health? That's surprising. I forget how squishy I am as a mage. It's been a while since I've actually played one because I don't really, I don't know. I was melee for split and I am i don't really know what I would call what that class was in Fargo's. I don't even remember. I used to keep track of that stuff. Ow. Okay. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right. So we'll put on the Healy Hood then. We'll send all of our laser beams across over there. These do heal for a good amount of damage. If I would have actually been able to hit the polarities with this thing with the right hood on, I probably would have never died. But it uh, seems like I wasn't really making all that much contact with them. Oh, and another one. Flow Invader. Every time, man, these guys, they are like glass cannons. Just like a summoner to send something else to go fight its battles for it. I'd do the same thing too if I was a big space wiggly. Like I said, shady day today. Very shady. Man, I really ought to invest in some defense. If only I wasn't broke. And there we go, another one down. That takes care of the Stardust Pillar. Otherworldly voices are lingering around me now. That's not good, it's never a good thing. I mean, that happens in real life as well. But you know what, I feel like I've made that joke about a hundred times already. I don't really keep track of it anymore. I think I make the same jokes over and over again at the same points during progression, I think. I want to say that that's what happens. Okay, and now I've got to go over here and somehow try to figure out dealing with the uh, solar pillar. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, actually, you know what? I think I'm out of deathweed now that I think about it. Now, there's a bunch over here. I think I can harvest it all. It's been sitting there for quite a while. Go back in there. I gotta grab that because I need to get my potions together for some things. Definitely want to have that ready whenever the Moon Lord shows up because I'm pretty squishy. Uh, yeah, without the Spectre Mask on, I've got, like, zero defense. I feel like the Moon Lord's just gonna knock my head off. All right, I've got some things together to kind of give myself a little bit more of a defense-oriented approach to these things. I'm able to stack up the Worm Scarf and the Infested Brain. I'm not really sure what the damage reduction stacked up together would end up being, but probably gotta be pretty nice. And I did grab myself a Mana Flower to make it a little bit more convenient for me to use the Nebula Ray. Of course, as always, I'm still very much so broke, and I can't afford to really reforge this any better, but you know what? That's fine. Love the uh, the speed increase. Makes me run out of mana even faster. Thankfully, I have the power to control Blood Moons, and I was able to get myself a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Deathweed. And I haven't been over here in a while. Things are a little overgrown. Oh, God. Okay, this is, this is going to be a problem. I just got to get to the respawn, please. Can I get there? Hold on. Yeah. God. No, 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 no. Crawl to peed. Eh. Ha, ha. There we go. I am victorious. Okay. 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 Ah. Okay. Well, I mean, I was still victorious. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I still made it there. All right. So whatever, Crawltipede, you big space wiggly. Why does every single one of these towers have to have a big space wiggly in it? Isn't that a little weird, Terraria devs? Huh? Don't you think? I'll tell you what's weird. That. That's pretty strange. It's going to be a few deaths here. Just a handful. There we go, this is much better. I'm still dying a million times, but at least I'm better at using my weapon, right? So I got I wonder, I just, I just gotta think. You know what, all of the towers, right, they're based around the different styles 
of, of play, right? Around the different classes, I should say. Not really around the styles of play, right? You got, you got a bunch of mobs that summon minions for the Stardust Tower, so that's the summoner. You got a bunch of minions that shoot guns and whatnot, like, like bullets and grenades or whatever, like the Ranger, and that's the Vortex Tower there. You've got ones that have things that teleport around and have a wide variety of spells, lots of them that home in. That's the Nebula Tower. I want you to find me one melee player in Terraria that plays in any way, shape, or form like these people do. Because you know what? Most melee weapons in Terraria are more ranged than the ranged weapons. They summon more projectiles than the summoners do, and they also act like magic weapons. Honestly, I feel like the solar tower shouldn't have a bunch of mobs that slam into me and try to murder me with crazy contact damage. I feel like the solar tower should be entirely comprised of enemies that do a little bit of everything, that summon projectiles from their ranged magic spears. God, no, 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 the tower's dead. You can't attack me anymore, the tower's dead. There you go, that's the rules. Okay, impending doom approaches. Let me, let me just, can I, just real quick. Okay, thanks, see you later, bye-bye. Goodbye, Kona, enjoy your new friends. All right, let me get down. I have to go all the way to the ground. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. This is not gonna be pretty. Uh, I kind of might have doomed myself here because now I gotta go heal. I gotta go make some weapons real fast. Is it gonna be possible? May or may not be. Ooh, maybe I'm not making any weapons. I gotta get the Nebula Blaze at least. Got to at least get the Nebula Blaze. Unless I'm fighting him in the ocean right now, which may very well happen. There we go. Nebula Blaze. That's fine. Back up to the surface. Teleport over here. Can I get away from the water? I still hear music. I think I'm still safe. I think I am still safe. Nope. Get out of here. Okay, we'll zoom out. Oh, this might be the one. Yep, it's the one. Okie dokie. Let's go with this. Let's do it. Alrighty, Moon Lord, we're going straight into that gun's blazing. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Okay, as long as I can avoid the big eyeball laser up there, I think I should be good to go. This is the only one where I wasn't sitting in severe anticipation and anxiety waiting for him to spawn. So you know what? I think we're good. We're going right in like I said I would. We're gonna go in, guns blazing, ready to melt some faces, which is good. You know what? That's how we like to do it. That's the only way to go forward. I still might end up dying. I might have to swap some stuff out for warding, because I really just do not have any defense. I'm dying way too fast. I'm not even thinking about the possibility. Not even looking at the option of just not getting hit by attacks. That's completely and totally off the table. Yep, we're gonna die. That's the end of it. Goodbye. Well, that was fun. Man, I am really, really squishy. I do not know why. Man, I'm just not prepared for the bosses in this episode today, I gotta tell ya. Definitely just not ready. I know I've got very low defense. I know that that's exactly why, but you know what? Why is it that way? Is it time to reforge everything to warding and just, you know what, forget about attack? Let's just focus on defense? No, because I'm broke. Spectacular. But you know what? I can make another Celestial Sigil. So maybe we can go into this a little bit more prepared. Alrighty, there we go. Let's go into this a little bit more prepared now. At least I hope I can be anyway. I mean, maybe, possibly. I'm definitely taking a lot uh, lot less damage now that I move some things around. I don't really have warding on any of my accessories, but I swapped back to the regular Specter Hood. Believe it or not, I think not being able to heal, but instead having a lot more defense is going to serve me a little bit better. I think. My professional opinion. As a doctor uh, of survival, that uh, that's my prognosis. Is that even the right word? One of them is. There we go, trying to take this hand down a little bit. Preferably take them all down together. That would be the ideal way to go for it. Really doesn't matter all that much though, I gotta be honest with you. Thank God I've got a nice long platform. I can just kind of run back and forth across it. Let's go over here again. Ah, that was close. I fear the day that they ever decide to give this thing a no hit. I gotta say, even if I did ever play the mod again, if I do a season two, I will never do it. Ouch. Ah, uh, God, nope. And there we go, we're dead again. Spectacular. Welp, being that that is indeed the last of my fragments, I suppose it's now time to go on a little expedition to try to get some more gold and do the towers again. I'm so very excited. I'm gonna love that. Love those towers. All right, it's starting to look like things are finally starting to turn around a little bit here. There we go. Okay, I got far enough away from him that uh, he's teleporting now, so I guess the uh, super fast fall from those special fractal dragon wings is actually pretty effective. It's pretty nice. It's like having, like, wearable slime mount. It's pretty effective. And there we go. 4,000 health left. We're getting close. Getting down to 3,000. Just wildly fly away from him and shoot back in his general direction. Hope to God he dies before I do. I think I'm doing pretty good. 
I did, however, have to employ the Nurse Cheese to effectively defeat him, but you know what? A victory is a victory. No matter how it was accomplished, I'm satisfied with that. Finally. I gotta say, I had to pull out all the stops for that one. I had to go and grind up a whole bunch of stuff, get all the potions that I could possibly get, even Endurance and Life Force had to grab lots and lots of gold for some good reforges and set almost everything back to warding over there so I had some defense. For some reason, I just felt enormously squishy. Like, even for as little defense as I had, I felt like he was hitting me a lot harder than he probably should have been. It was really weird. Getting hit for, like, half my health in one single, like, eyeball blast there. Not even just the death rays. The death ray was, like, 300 damage. A little ridiculous. But you know what? Like I said, at the end of the day, cheesy or not, still highly successful. Alrighty, let's open up that treasure bag, see what we got. We got the last prism. Very nice. Suspicious looking tentacle. Gotta swap that out for the Everlight. I'm sorry, as fun as you are, that'll be the end of that. Throw that on there. Gravity globe right into the trash. Actually, I probably should take a look. No, it's not good for anything. Okay, great. Luminite in. See how many of these I can actually make. Definitely not enough to make a set because that's just not how it works. So, see what we got here. I probably don't have very much in the way of fragments left. After that, having to make so many sigils. 18 Stardust, 11 Vortex, 13 Solar, and not even enough Nebula to even show up with uh, with the armor set there. That's fine. Okay, well, uh, as fun as that was, um, we still have a little bit more to do. We still have the polarities to deal with. And I think I'm going to do a separate episode for that on its own. Because I have definitely been recording for a good while, and I don't want the video to be insanely long, because the last couple have been a little bit longer than I've been preferring. I have some ideas for the final episode, but we've got one more of the polarities left to do. Still gonna take down the polarities boss, and I got a couple of other things that I want to look at. Maybe I'll take a look at all those no-hit items that I was not unable to get. That I was not able to get, I should say. But yep, I think I'm gonna be calling an episode here, guys. Gonna fight the Moon Lord and all that stuff off camera a few more times, and we'll jump right in with the final episode of the polarities mod. The epic finale, the big bad polarities boss. Maybe by then you guys will have some tips that actually help me beat those guys, because they were a little confusing. But anyways, like I said, I'm going to be calling an episode here, guys. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.